Hello? Finally Friday. And I catch a cold. And this is a bad one, you know? I can't explain to you how bad it is. Anyway, what we have to fix today is a motherboard. But it's not any motherboard. It's our colleague, Christian. Yeah, that guy from there. Yeah? I will tell you the story, but first let me find out what model is. I think it's a Lenovo. Christian, model is that? G70 MSI GE726QF. Okay, so that's the model. So what happened? What happened? Like around one month ago. I was home <coughs> and Christian called me and said, look, I replaced the thermal paste from the processor and graphic chip. It's a gaming motherboard. And uh, <coughs> I forgot to take the charger out and when I plugged the screen was a spark and now it's, I have no picture on the screen, no picture, no backlight. And he asked me like, like very relaxed. Uh, you can tell me, please, what you were doing on this case. We know when it happened. It happened before when we are replacing the screens and we are not taking out the battery and it's not a picture anymore. <coughs> and I explained him. Wait, 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 wait. They did a lot of mistakes replacing the screen without taking out the battery or the charger. But like. Most of the cases actually have picture but no backlight. And so I, I did tell him, you know, usually must be picture but no backlight. Do you have any picture? I said, no, no, I have no picture. Actually, it's not even coming on. Yeah. So, you know, that's the point when uh, when the things can go very, very wrong. When you are try when you are you are playing with the screen connector without taking out the power supply or the battery. <clears throat> okay, so on this case, the motherboard, like usual, yeah. So the motherboard, everything from the motherboard is starting up by this chip. This is a ENE chip. This is our startup chip, yeah. Our startup chip or Super IO, and this chip has a pin. It's going on the power button. When you press the power button, this chip starts the sequence. Yeah, first it's starting. It's reading the internal program as a program inside BIOS. After that, it's running a short test around the motherboard. When everything is fine. All the power supplies, yeah, he's starting all the power supplies, he's doing a test, yeah, memory test, processor. When everything is fine, it's lighting up the screen and you see the logo, yeah. <clears throat> so that's what this chip is doing. It's actually, it's a very, very important chip. Well, the charger is plugged in, yeah. What we are doing with the dead motherboards, yeah, what, what we are checking, because we made so many videos about this. First, you check your main 19 volts power rail. It should be the main power rail because it's not necessary to be 19. It's 19 if the charger is plugged in. If it's the battery, probably it's around 12, up to 14, 15, yeah? Depends on the battery. So where we are checking? You can have a look for big capacitors like here. You see big capacitors? And my screen goes off. So one more time, nothing, 19.6, you can see on the multimeter on the screen, so our main power rail is present, next step, check the 3.3, .3. yeah, now let's say, I can even check on coils, probably I'll find it. Maybe it's on the other side of the board. Maybe it's not even a... Uh, the 3.3 the, the, the is not even made by a coil. Just ignore the fact, let's say we don't know where is the 3.3. .3. I 
Actually, you can. You have a lot of capacitors around this startup chip, like small ceramic capacitors. And you try and check on them. Look, like like here. You see, three point two. So, you can, but let's say, let's say, okay, I don't know where is the three point three. You can go straight on the power button. On this case, you can see here the power button, and you check the three point three there. If you, the, the, there you have three point three volts. You can be sure the 3.3 is present on the chip, yeah? Because the pin from the power button to the chip is pulled out by a resistor to 3.3, yeah? So in this case, so check there, 3.2, 3.275. Yeah? It's slightly lower compared with what we check here with 10 millivolts because i told you it's pulled out by a resistor so we have 3.3 on the power button what will happen now if we press the power button we press the power button and the voltage goes to zero you can see on the multimeter in this moment the chip is meant to start everything on the board our chip is not starting yeah so that's the issue this is not getting hot it's just that and I know a lot of you guys you have this problem because I can see the on, on our discord a lot of people ask look everything is fine but it's not coming on so that can be a cause actually most of the case it's, it's this yeah now this is that what we did we ordered the chip like the last time you remember with the Lenovo we ordered the chip from same guy You remember this guy from eBay? Pit stop computers. Yeah, this is a this is a this is a guy. It's just a coincidence from Romania. He is selling the chips, which are already programmed. So he take the chip blank blank chip. He program the chip and he send it. So if you need something like that, this is a nice guy, yeah. And also, I want to thank him. Yeah, when we receive the chip, the chip is here. I receive a nice electric screwdriver. Yeah. Proper nice. So now I have an electric screwdriver. Probably you will see it on the next video. I don't know what brand it is. Let me check on the box. Wow stick. It's nice. Okay, so I want to say thank you. So thank you for the screwdriver. Anyway, let's replace the chip make this board you know work again this is a gimme like with an expensive one he told me because it's his own computer he told me he pay like 1500 <coughs> for this gaming laptop so i will unplug the charger first let's remove the chip let's isolate thermic around the chip we can take out the bios battery we don't need it right now Let's use the RAM socket. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> and all the crazy things with coronavirus. Obviously, that's not my problem. Actually, Diana has a cold, and probably I took the cold from her. Boy, it's crazy. It was breaking news like like yesterday. Breaking news. Okay, now it's a global threat. And and then this morning, breaking news. Okay, the virus was confirmed on the United Kingdom. <coughs> it's quite crazy. Insane. Everything is isolated. We can go use some thermal paste. I can use my my one i trust a lot my uh, my flux not thermal paste sorry flux sorry <coughs> well where is my flux hello flux uh, 
Maybe next time. But flux disappeared from my desk. Hmm. Maybe someone took it. So I'll use this flux, which probably is a fake one. Anyway, let's replace this chip. Let's go under the microscope. <sighs> microscope. That's our E and E startup chip. Just have in mind the chip position. It's a little bit important. So we'll come with the hot air and we'll remove the chip like that. Yeah. <sighs> Try to bring on focus on screen. Yeah. Is on focus. Good. Power supply to remove the chip. We set up the power supply in max air, max temperature. On our case, 500 degrees. You want to be short. You don't want to <coughs> be around with the heat too much, too long. Yeah. This is 500 degrees. Like last time, we'll try to use the easy way to replace this chip. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> so the chip is out, yeah? <coughs> That's the chip. It's a nice ENE chip. KB9028Q. Okay, so that's our startup chip. Yeah, good. Now, all what we have to do, <coughs> sorry, all what we have to do, all what we have to do is to come with a new chip. Let's use more flux. <coughs> I think I'll finish this and I'll go home. <sighs> so this is the new chip. Try to open. <coughs> That's the new chip. So this chip comes with uh, programmed already. Yeah. That's what the guy is doing. Chip on the board. Now the easy way, or the lazy way, it's up to you how you want to call this. I'll try to match the chip. Give me one second. I'm really sorry. I'll take the small nozzle. <coughs> okay. I'll take the small nozzle. I'll try to match the pins on the board. To be easy, you can try and solder some pins. Yeah? You can try with a solder iron and solder a few pins. Because the chip, it will go anywhere else, but not exactly on the pins, yeah? My hands are shaking.
Okay, you know what? Let's solder a few pins, yeah? Just to be more easy. <coughs> because the chip position is very important. Actually, the position is quite nice right now. <clears throat> Let's try and solder a few pins. And the solder iron is not hot enough. <coughs> okay, a few pins here, few pins here, here, one more here. Okay, now it will be more easy. <coughs> so we sold a few pins. At the small nozzle, 500 degrees. <coughs> yeah. Let's get the, a tool to press the chip down. Okay, here is fine. <coughs> it's not fine. We'll uh, we'll come back later. Okay, seems to be fine. Obviously, with five hundred degrees, it's kind of risky to play on the new chip. So pay attention, don't uh, heat up the chip too much. Okay, we can see we have few problems, few pains with problems. Okay, so we're fine. It looks like we're fine, but we'll check each pin. <coughs> okay. So let's go close and check. So we can see we have a problem here. Actually, no. No, we have a problem here, this pin. Uh, on the microscope, the, the picture quality, it's a lot better compared with what you see there, yeah? So I can see each pin is fine. Seems to be fine. No, these are not shorted. This one has to be soldered again. <coughs> okay, I'm happy. It's not a problem. That chip is that pin is soldered. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Next. Here are solder. <coughs> this this we have a problem here. <coughs> Let me use some uh, you know weak wire. Let's try to suck the solder from there. <coughs> the 
this pin is solder this pin is solder all good there let's check here this is fine and here this is perfect okay let's check I think it's perfect <coughs> give me one second something looks dodgy but maybe it's just me you know this is solder solder yeah all are fine let's test it yeah so I think we are ready <coughs> So what do you think? We are ready or not? Okay, that's the old chip. <coughs> the chip is not hot. Plug the charger. Let's press the power button. Press the power button and nothing. So we did something wrong. Let's check the voltage. So on the power button we have same 3.2. Which is fine. Okay. Hmm. Let's check one more time. It should be working. Let's check one more time. I'll take the beeping one, the my one, my other multimeter. No short, no, 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 So what's wrong here then? Huh? <coughs> and it's fine. That's bad. Everything is fine there. <coughs> okay. The same chip, yeah? Yeah. Oh. That's bad. Okay, this is very bad. Cheapy solder on place. We don't have the battery. Christian done some work. The Christian, the guy done some work on this board. Remove the USB port. Obviously, I don't trust his work. 
<coughs> Let's check the five volts. Uh, This is five. This is ground. So the five volts is not shorted. <coughs> Let's come with the five volts on the power supply just to be sure. No, it's not short. But it's fine. <coughs> you think he done some dodgy things with the board? You have the chipset here. Interesting. I think this one is the lead sensor. Let's check quickly the lead sensor. Maybe it's not the lead sensor. <coughs> what is the lead sensor then? This one, okay, this is a big one. He's seen it. A volt. Maybe not. Let's see. Let's get a magnet. No. No. It's not that one. <clears throat> it is. Yeah, that's the one, but it's acting weird. Yeah? No, it's not. Hang on a second.
אוקיי. So let's focus on this, this is weird. Oh, sorry. So what's this? Q1. What's this? Huh? No, it's going to LED. No, no, no. No, no. Have nothing to do with leak sensor. Somewhere must be a lead sensor. <coughs> but where? Here. Yeah, found it. <coughs> Nothing. <coughs> Nothing. Nothing. Let's have a look together, yeah? Hmm? So this must be a lead sensor. This one. Now, what do I will check? I will check one thing. I will check if the pin... <coughs> Obviously, you can see here you have ground. This is a small truck, which it's it's a data truck, yeah. Probably a truck it can be on or off. This is a big truck, which is probably five volts one. So I'll check if this is going to the supplier, yeah. Uh, I can't check the supplier; it's on the other side. Actually, I can and I will. He's coming here. You can hear the beep? You can hear the beep? Yeah. So the truck is coming here. The problem is on the other pin should be 5 volts. And it's not. The charger is still plugged in. I forgot to take out the charger, which is very bad. But anyway, the next step is to follow <sighs> Yeah, I want to see where this is going You can't see, sorry <sighs> I want to see this, where it's going, this, this big crack, this Here should be 5 volts or 3.3, something like that it's coming here and it's going to the other side of the board. Anyway, let's check. <sighs> let's check where the truck is going. Wait, it's going to ground. You see, this is something which I can't believe. Because no, this is not like how the electronic is working. <coughs> so, this is an electronic component. A semiconductor, yeah? Doesn't work with two grounds. It's no point. <coughs> The charger is not plugged in, so this is a ground. You can see clearly this is a ground. 
Oh, sorry, let me switch them the loud mode. Okay. So this is a ground. You can see zero zero. This is a small pin, which as I said it, this will be a data pin, so it's nothing to check here. This truck is going to the super IO. And this one, you see, is going to the capacitor. It's a big truck, you can see. It's going blah, blah, blah. So here, it's, this, this, will, this should be like a 3 volts or 5 volts truck. Then it's short to ground. So here it's an issue. You can't have two grounds on a semiconductor. It's not logical. Yeah. No, it's not because... <clears throat> because if we have a magnetic field, this ground will change. No, it will change this, the small truck which is the data truck, yeah? So what I will do, I'll come with the power supply, 3.3 volts, on that exactly there, and we'll see what's going on, yeah? There is not supposed to be short. Now, this is a big board, it'll be, ha it'll be hard to find uh, what's going on here. So 3.3, let's say around 2 amps. <coughs> it's taking 2 amps, 0 0.05 volts, which is a short, short, short. More amps. 3 amps, it's 1 volt. That's mean my short is far away somewhere, far away, but I have no idea where. This will be hard. Okay, I have another idea. Let's try and check the old power supplies to ground here. This is my multimeter. This is zero. It can't be zero, yeah? So let's go back on our multimeter, on screen multimeter here. We have completely zero. Even this is, is the processor power supply, but it's not, because the, the power supplies of the processor are here cannot be zero. In the worst case, can be like 5 ohms, this is zero. So I will come with the power supply here. <coughs> hey! <coughs> Give me one second, then I see. Okay, well, let's come with the power supply here, and we have a short. Now I'm curious to see what's short, because this is the output of the power supply, yeah? Not the input. This is the output. Let's come with more amps. The short is quite strong. If the short is it's on the other side, to actually to the switching power supply of this coil, the coil will get will, will, got, will get hot, but it's not getting hot. So we have a different problem. That's crazy. So probably we replace the super IO for nothing. You think? Can be. Let's take out the this board. Still short. Round memory, let's take it out. Still short. I don't want to be funny, but more amps. Whoa, 
we have five amps which is crazy it's five amps it's not like can make a fireworks <coughs> with five amps hopefully something will smoke because otherwise otherwise no I don't know it's, it's, it's bad Okay, here it's warm. Oh, here it's warm because the ground is here. <coughs> Have a short USB. No. Let's check on the other side of the board. Thanks God, the chipset is not getting hot. It is weird. It is weird. It's 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 a sure so strong. You see, we have five amps there. Five. It's crazy. Let's use on this side of the coil 1.2 volts and this side of the coil is 1 volt, okay. So uh, the short is on this side. Well, we need a strong ground. So here is 1 volt. Let's try to find it, just swapping the ground, yeah? Let's see here. Here is 1.1. So the amps are the same with the volts. This is one volt. Let's see ground here. This is one volt. Okay. How about here? 1. 1.1. 1.2. 1.1. 1.1. 1 1 It's here somewhere, on this area <sighs> What you'll do in this case, when you have a short So strong, so strong and nothing, nothing is getting hot. This is probably a thermal camera or a freezing spray. Five amps, wow. Maybe we need more amps, but the truck will start blowing up. You know what I mean? So this is clear, we have an issue here. Yeah. We have a problem. You can't have zero ohms on a power line. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> You see, that's the point when I wish I had more amps. <clears throat> Let's wait. <coughs> Let's wait. <sighs> oh. 
Hopefully something will blow up. Probably not. Now, you know what? This is this you need a lot of skill find a fall like that. Because even the ground truck is getting hot. Yeah? So if I'll connect the ground here, so all this line, if the ground is coming from the board, it will get hot. Yeah? Let's say the short is here, yeah, the ground will get hot. And it's very tricky. Very, very tricky. Can be. <coughs> the thing can be exactly the the lead sensor. <coughs> so here we have one point one. Let's see on the lead sensor. I don't think so. Probably the truck will blow up. Let's try. No, 1.6 volts. No. No. The short is not there. Short is here somewhere. <sighs> I'm just curious what can be. Here is worm. Here. But here is chipset. Here is the chipset. Uh, don't tell me the chipset is dead. Wow. Or maybe the MOSFET? Hmm? No, the chipset. No, the chiefs, uh, the chiefs are the short. Uh, oh, that's bad. So when he played with the screen connector, now it's not short. Hey, three point three. It's not short. Yeah, it is. <sighs> yeah, so when he, when he play with the screen connector, he burned the chipset. Uh, so the chipset is warm. This is very, very low resistance. It's getting hot. It's waste of time. What a waste of time. I wish I could have more amps, you know, just to blow up the chipset. <clears throat> just for my satisfaction. Yeah, the chipset is dead. Chipset is dead. Well, I'm really sorry, but I can't fix this one. You see, there's a case when it's nothing what you can do. So the resistance of the chipset is so low, actually it's not getting hot, it's warm. Where I can feel it's warm here, let's say it's around 40 degrees. 
maybe 50 on this corner. You see, that's a key, so actually you can't fix the thing. <clears throat> you know what? I'll try to find the chipset. And maybe we can replace the chipset on the next video, yeah? Okay, so thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Hopefully I'll feel better on the next one. Bye.